The lecturer was talking about people who could tell you what happened 20 years ago, but not what happened two minutes ago. And my eyes just went like this, and I thought, wow. And so I can date my love for psychology and neuropsychology to October um, 1987, so almost 30 years <laughs> uh, ago, and uh, I haven't got bored of it since then. Well, I, I was pretty sure I wanted to do psychology. Okay. It was more of an interest in, in what it means to be human, so it was sort of philosophical in a sense. And then the neuroscience of the the biology almost of yeah. uh, what happens and what's going on and trying to combine the two. Remco is doing his masters and as part of that he has to do a project and he'd written to me and uh, he came over so I kind of interviewed him and then I headhunted him. I thought Astrox was the most interesting because it provided an element of um, uh, of individuality, sort of, where you could um, sort of fill in which experiments you wanted to run based on the case study that we currently have um, yeah. with someone who has prosopagnosia, so they don't recognize faces anymore. And based on what the results from previous experiments are, you can sort of build um, new experiments um, to focus on what you think is interesting in that case, and that really spoke to me. I don't see my role as the supervisor just to get a student to do a project with me. I think that my role is to train the student, so that's why I don't tend to just give you a paradigm. I, I discuss it with you and I, mm -hmm. and I try to see your thinking. It's interesting just looking at the results you get because it's very easy to think about, you know, well, this should happen, so we should see this effect. Yeah. But when you actually see the the results, the response times, or accuracy on yep. scores, it's just, I think, yeah, it, it's its sort of um, coupling the idea that this is also someone doing this experiment rather than this is just data that you're looking at. Exactly. Because it's easy to look at, at something and say, oh, okay, well, they got 80% correct, and then what does that mean? But if you see him trying the experiments and saying, oh, no, I'm not sure, you know, because I didn't, because of this and this and this, or, um, yeah, I'm, I'm focusing now on mostly doing it this way. They can be a really good source of ideas. Yeah. They're just their, what they're finding easy, mm -hmm. or, or how they're managing to do something, when our theory would be they shouldn't be able to do this, and then they can do it, but they're doing it in mm -hmm. a roundabout way, which our theory hadn't predicted, or our paradigm. That's what I thought was so interesting for. about your previous research with David, where you said that he was able to recognize people, but obviously not in the right way. Yeah. So um, when recognizing Marilyn Monroe, for example, yeah. it took him 10 seconds, and yeah. he said, I think it's Marilyn Monroe because of the mole, you know? Well, so he didn't even say, I think. He okay. asked whether it was Marilyn okay, Monroe, yeah. and, and uh, that's one of those things about looking at the way someone mm -hmm. is doing it. So my dad always asked, so when are you actually a neuropsychologist? Like that, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> you know, doing the, the work, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't know when you, well, it depends on whether you want an official title or not, but I remember at, when I was doing my PhD, I'd written as my profile, I want to become a neuropsychologist. Eventually, when I started doing the first couple of case studies with patients with brain injury, I thought, yes, finally, <laughs> I'm becoming a neuropsychologist. And then I think when I published my first proper neuropsychology paper, I thought, well, I think I'm probably a neuropsychologist now. So I think publishing is something that I guess is definitely on the list of getting there. And uh, uh, depending on how the results for David. Yeah, so I guess who, so. <laughs> who knows? That, that's, uh, that's where I'm aiming for the, our research to go. So. Mm. Uh, we'll just have to see what, yeah. what we get with the findings.